look at this. I bought a property with a shed on it and it's all overgrown. Let's clean this crap up. You got the window there, window here, window on that side, the loft that goes all the way over the porch area, and then got another window, another window, a big loft up there, which is about 10 feet uh, from front to back, roughly, I'm just guessing, and then got a window over there. So definitely going for a uh, more modern look. All right guys, so we got the porch pretty much finished. So we're gonna come through, we taped up the windows and then uh, bought a paint sprayer. It's just a Harbor Freight one. Be the same color we put on earlier, but on the whole thing, hopefully we won't mess it up. But now that I got my wall, let's put the toilet in and see uh, before we go too far if this is enough space. Woo! A toilet! I need to put my toilet right here. I wanted the uh, flange on the bottom just to uh, dry fit it and everything, make sure it's good. That'll fit right there. Here is the middle. You see I got the toilet drain and the shower drain in now.
Now I'm gonna do the next one a little bit thicker. And I'm going to go ahead and install it against this wall. <laughs> I should probably be wearing gloves, but I never do. You can see the difference, the clear coat, uh, that's dry, and then this is wet. I'm gonna put the glue on there. Thing works freaking awesome. This is how I've been taking showers out here for the longest time. So my shower head is over here. I got this PVC that I'll be hooking together that'll run over there. All right, as you guys can see, I got it. And Guys, look how tight of a fit that is all the way across to this side. A little bit to get it in there.
that on there like that. I didn't sign up for bees. Um, got the wrong one, like I said, but we're just gonna staple this up. When you get the wrong one, we got the only one. Well. Mm. Oh man, look at that. Right Got the flooring in. My back is killing me. My first rodeo with Jason antics. Oh, uh, he did not. <laughs> right there. Oh.
All right, so let's climb up here real quick. Let's see how it fits. I'm gonna put it all the way against the wall. Boom, that's good. Got it done. And then probably have to go up here for this one. And this one goes like that. All right, guys, I am super pumped with the way this came out. To be able to turn a shed into a tiny house is awesome. It took me a few months to do it. I appreciate all you guys watching start to finish. I try to do it with no music, just something that you could just watch all the way through, get ideas, and hopefully this puts something in your head. Don't be scared to buy a repo or an old abandoned shed. This was abandoned for years, and it turned out to be an awesome, awesome little tiny house. This bathroom ended up being perfect. It's little, but the cedar turned out awesome. I really, really like it. It's a small shower, but it works perfect, especially off the hot water heater that I have. It's very simple, very easy, and I love it. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you like conversions and stuff. As of right now, we just bought 60 acres, a ranch, converting an old shop into a little barnuminium, tiny barnuminium right now. And then we're gonna build a few tiny houses. My brother Jared that you saw in here has his own channel, Jared Crocker. Please go check him out. And Danielle, my girlfriend, has helped out a lot with all this and we bought our dream property the 60 acres we're excited but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing checking it out but make sure to check out the new 60 acre ranch dream house playlist we got a bunch of videos on there so we'll see you in the next one peace